Dear learners, welcome you all to e-learning platform. In this week, we will learn a summary in detail of a doll song written by Henry Gibson. Me first learned with you throughout this lecture, lecture as usual. Faculty member, Department of English, World University of Bangladesh. Let's begin. Doll song, the Henry Gibson summary in detail. Summary or synopsis. Act 1. Nora Hammer enters a lovely living room, laden with packages and a Christmas tree, humming a happy tune and sneaking a macaron. Her husband Torvald greets her with questions about her spending, calling Nora his little fritter bug squirrel spendthrift and sweet tooth. Nora reminds him that they have no worries since Torvald has just been offered a bank managerial position. But her husband opts for cushion. When Torvald asks what she wants for Christmas, Nora asks for money. Two visitors enter the house. Dr. Rank accompanies Torvald to his study and Mrs. Linda, an old friend who has been out of touch, joins Nora. The two women share confidences, and Nora reveals that she has hidden more than macaroons from her husband. Due to Torvald's serious illness several years prior, Nora explains she had to pay for a year of recovery in Italy. While she told Torvald that her father had left them the money, Nora actually forged her father's signature and borrowed the money from a lawyer named Kronstadt, justifying her dishonesty by saving Torvald's health and pride. Nora explains that she has been secretly working to pay up the loan, and she is almost free of her debt. Kronstadt enters next, hoping to salvage his position at the bank by speaking to Torvald. After Krogstad leaves, Nora is able to talk Torvald into giving Mrs. Linda a position at the bank. Torvald, Dr. Rank, and Mrs. Linda leave, and Nora visits with her three children. Krogstad then returns with a threat. Nora must get Torvald to keep Krogstad's position at the bank, or Krogstad will reveal Nora's deception and forgery. Upon Torvald's return, Nora questions him about Krogstad's past, and Torvald explains that Krogstad lost his own reputation due to forgery, declaring that such a lie infects a home Hammer returns to his study, leaving Nora anxious but determined. Act 2 Summary The curtain rises in the same room the next day, which is Christmas. Nora paces frantically, anxious that Krogstad will return to several uh, to reveal her forgery to Torvald. The nanny enters with a box of costumes and props for the next evening's festivities. And Nora questions her about children who grow up without mothers. Mrs. Linda enters and as she helps Nora repair her costume, Nora confides in her friend once again. She then asks Mrs. Linda to finish sewing the dress while she speaks to Torvald promising to sing for you and dance if only Torvald would give in. 
Nora asks her husband to keep Krogster at the bank, reminding her that rumor should spit about his wife's influence. Torvald denies Nora's request. When she says his concerns about property are petty, Torvald becomes incensed and sends Krogster's termination letter to his home. Krogster, having received his termination, returns to threaten Nora again, and the two admit that two they have both considered suicide. Neither can brave it. Krogster leaves, but his letter revealing all is clearly heard entering the mail slot. Nora keeps Torvald from reading the letter by, be by begging his help with the Tarantella dance she will perform at the fancy dress party at the Stanboards, dancing frenetically as though her life depends on it. Nora keeps Torvald occupied reteaching her the dance but tomorrow night she promises him he will be free then act three the act opens once again in the hammers living room while mrs linda awaits the hammers return from the party upstairs as mrs linda waits crogestad arrives at her request she finally shows herself to him and he realizes that she is an old love of his who left him. Mrs. Linda asks Krogster to give them a second chance at a relationship. Krogster agrees, promising to retrieve his letter of revelation. But Mrs. Linda convinces him to let the truth come to light for the good of both Nora and her world. The Hammers arrive from the party and Mrs. Linda leaves. Hammer tells Nora that he has often wished for some danger to befall her so that he can rescue her. And Nora seizes this opportunity to encourage Torval to read Krogester's letters. Torval reads it and immediately chastises Nora, claiming she has wreaked his happiness and ruined his future. Torval explains that Nora can stay in the house Bart is unfit to raise the children. From now on, Torvald claims happiness doesn't matter. All that matter, matters is the appearance. Final letter arrives, including Nora's cancelled debt. Torvald is happy again. But Nora is forever changed by her husband's reaction. And after removing her costume, she sits down with Torvald to share the first serious conversation of their eight-year marriage, declaring she has been greatly wronged by both her father and her husband. Nora compares her existence in their homes to a doll in a dollhouse. Point Torval declares his wife cannot leave because her husband and children are her most sacred duties. Nora responds with, I have other duties that are just as sacred. My duty is to myself. Nora is determined to remind strangers unless something really glorious could happen, the ability to live together in a true marriage. Nora departs and the audience is left with the sound of a door slamming shut. That's all for this week. Thank you very much for being with me.